Hello my friends, uh, today the topic is not very new to you. Last week we started it a little with the statements, that uh, positive statements. Have got, has got and you were very good with the positive statements. Uh, today we will continue with the negative statements and questions with have got and has got. Uh, just uh, see the examples here. The two people are talking. There are, there are two students from grade 7, strangely. And one is asking the other one, A, what have you got in your bag? It looks quite heavy. And the student B answers, yes, quite a lot actually. I've got a pen, 12 color pencils, five books, five notebooks, two liters of water, my lunchbox, an eraser, and a ruler. What have you got in your bag? I haven't got a lot. I have got my water bottle, lunchbox, and a game controller. I can't say that I'm a good student. Uh, he is not very happy for having a game controller in his bag instead of books. And the friend is very supportive in that sense. You can be too. Everybody can. I can help you start. Can you really? That's great. You have got it, my friend. You have my help now. Don't worry about it. So, as you can see, the color words here have got uh, statements are there and the question what have you got in your bag and I have got and here what have you got again a question I haven't is a negative statement that we didn't learn last week but we have learned the positive statements have got and you have got and let's see some more examples and Jack and Mark talking uh, have you got five minutes to play with me? That is a younger brother, and Mark is the elder brother. No, sorry, I haven't got time for fun now. I have got lots of homework. Mary has got more free time. And Mark is referring to their sister. And Jack says, she has got some homework too. So both Mark and Mary have got Homeworks. Uh, let's uh, see the structures, how we build. Uh, yeah, affirmative sentences or positive sentences are made uh, in the usual order. And we have long forms and contracted, that is shortened forms. Like uh, the long form is always have got and has got. And for three of these people, right, we have has got. For the rest, like I, you, we, they, we have uh, have got for them, okay? Has got only for these three people. Then if we continue with the negative statements, again, it has got long form and short form, that is, have not got or shortly haven't got. And the, these three again goes as the same. Right? Uh, then uh, you see haven't and hasn't, this important part. Uh, then when we continue the question, how we make questions, uh, we can make two types of questions actually. Shortly, we put have or has at the beginning. Have I got time? Have you got time? Uh, this is called yes, no questions and it has short answers. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Also, we can make questions with what? What have you okay got in your room for example 
So you can say, I have got a bed, a wardrobe, my book rack, and so many other things you can add. What have you got in your room? Or for these three people, again, if we want to ask a question with what, what has Jack? Jack means he, right? Jack got in his bag. So if you know what he has got in his bag, you can say Jack has got books and notebooks, pens and pencils in his bag. Maybe even Jack is a naughty boy little. He might have got a game controller. Have you got a game controller in your bag? Uh, sometimes. Okay. No worries. So we learned have got, has got, or actually we already had started last week. So we just continued to finish it. Thank you very much. That's all for today's lesson. Bye.